At first glance, the smiles, giggles, and the fluid conversations might trick you into thinking that these women have known each other for a long time. First time? No, actually, first time. Yeah. Most of them are actually meeting for the very first time. On this gloomy Saturday on Mission Bay, the first step was the biggest one, showing up. I was planning on coming here last week and talked myself out of it, and I almost talked myself out of it this morning. It was really difficult, but I said, you know, I really have to challenge myself. It might Alison de Cracker says she showed up because she saw an opportunity to meet other women and make connections. I moved here after I graduated college and I don't think like a lot of people talk about that transition enough and then there's no like system in place to really help you once you get there. And so I think it's like really difficult for some people because it's a big lift to get yourself out there to try to find people that connect with. Okay, we're gonna start to walk today, follow me. That's why Monica Figueroa started organizing the San Diego Girls Who Walk events. She joined a similar group back in New York and after seeing how it positively impacted her life, she brought the concept to the West Coast. So I bet you out of this group of girls, we've got probably like 50% of them that work remotely. So that's a really isolating part of the new post-COVID world. And then in general, I think as um, a generation that really spends a lot of time on social media, I know that's talked about a lot, it makes it kind of more difficult to go up and say hi to someone in person. I find it difficult because I think with a lot of technology nowadays, it's really easy for people to be in their phones and not really pay attention to what's going on around them. While they're walking, there are no phones, no distractions, just genuine conversations sparked by women who not only expect to take a break from the virtual platforms, but to hopefully create bonds. We have the best weather. Every city has people moving into it. A lot of people here actually at my walks, they always say that they're new to San Diego and they're looking to make friends. We have a lot of transplants. So I just knew it would be the perfect place and we're really lucky because it doesn't snow. If the weather isn't an obstacle, neither is the fee. It is open to everyone from any age range and at no cost and takes place twice a month. And now I'm here and I met a lot of super nice people and I'm really glad I came. The walks usually vary from two to three miles. The group posts its schedule on Instagram at San Diego Girls Who Walk. The next one will take place this upcoming Saturday. Charlotte Radulovic, KPBS News.